Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Before I begin this episode, I do want to thank you guys for the amazing amount of support, at least to me, that I've been getting for this series. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking about the Golden Rule. Yeah, treat others the way you want to be treated. Oh no, is he going to lecture us? Not really. I'm actually going to be ranting about how idiotic people, like, how people don't pay attention to this rule and how drastically I think it's really starting to impact others because I've experienced this enough to where I technically I feel like I should have the right to rant about this kind of thing. But yeah, there are different golden rules out there. The one I am talking about is the whole treat others the way you want to be treated. It's something I've been following for a while. I've stumbled every now and then, and when I do, I instantly regret it. But this particular rule, I've seen the outcome of people not following it so frequently. It's just saddening. Now, this isn't... This, this, <sighs> This isn't exactly something that a lot of people just outright ignore. They just don't pay heed and don't pay attention to the fact that they aren't abiding by this one rule. A lot of the times in my own personal experiences, I've made promises to people and maybe twice I've broken promises, the promises I've made. And each time I have, I've instantly regretted it. But... When I go by the golden rule in general, it's just like, I, I cannot break it because I've seen the outcome of others doing so, and it's just disastrous. Whether it's a relationship between boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever floats your boat, or just simple friends, or even family members. It, it's sad to see what the outcome ends up being when you don't act upon that rule. I have seen or heard, I've both, um, several occasions where a guy or a girl has, behind the opposing's back, uh, had sex or cheated on somebody, and when the other finds out, it just tears everything apart. When The thing with relationships, at least for me specifically, when I've always been able to notice, especially nowadays, whenever someone finds out you're doing something like that behind their back and the other person finds out, once that happens, you know it's over. No matter how long somebody tries to hold on, it's over once that happens. That action just snaps the relationship in half. Because what that action says, at least to the people I've come across, and to me specifically, is that you don't want to be with this person. You're obviously attached more to somebody else if you're cheating on the person. That's how I see it, at least. That's why I've never done it. I've helped people cheat, so to speak, but the only times I've ever done this is when the person is trying to get away from the, pers the opposing person that they're with at the time. This has happened twice. I've done this twice, and both times I've helped them succeed, whatever the measures ended up being, and both times the person is ended up being in a safe position, whether they're still friends with the person or the opposing person ended up being enemies, both are in a safe position and both have actually either been or are, not going to say which, um girlfriends of mine. Now, that being said, I personally have also experienced the opposing of the golden rule, as I said before, and it hurts. I've got a light enough heart to where it's like, you do that to me, and you're basically, sh you're basically pulling a Phineas Gage. Still alive, but only just, and I'm only going to last so long before I stray away forever when you do that. Like, it's, it's that kind of thing. And for those of you who don't know who Phineas Gage is, 
Um, it, it's not surprising to me. He's not stupid popular, but if you do want to know, I can it, it, let me know and I can make a different video kind of talking about my thoughts on him. That'll be something entirely different, though. <clears throat> In any case, um, the worst thing I think people have done when it comes to the Golden Rule is broken promises. I have made, as I said earlier, I've made several promises and broken, broken two of them. Both times I almost instantly, if not instantly, regret it. The thing about promises is that they're kind of like a contract. If you were to break a contract, the opposing person would have extreme negative feelings towards you. I would know. <laughs> that is not something I'm going to talk about, though. When it comes to just breaking that kind of stuff, breaking any kind of mentality, you're making a horribly terrible relationship with someone to the point where it's like they don't they won't want to keep in contact with you i've had people break promises with me and each time it happens i cut myself off from them entirely this has happened four times in my life i should say three because actually the truth is one of them i started getting in touch with again but just to make sure they're doing okay the thing about me is that I have the kind of heart that, to where even if I hate the person or don't like the actions they've made in the past, the thing I've believed, also apologies for messing with my face a lot, I've got an itch that I'm trying to ignore, but ugh. Anyway, it, it, it's gotten to the point on several occasions where I'm just like, you know what, I'm done talking with you, but I'm always curious to see how the person is doing. High, my high school best friend, not my girlfriend, she has, she was one of my high school best friends, but the high school best friend I'm talking about was also my best friend in junior high as well, or middle school, your choice. Um, but he kind of just disconnected himself from me. No rhyme or reason whatsoever. I still don't know to this day why he did, but it did... It, it did hurt. I never showed it, I, just because I'm so used to putting on facades and I'm good enough at it to where I can hide that kind of stuff, but it hurt. It hurt not knowing why the hell he disconnected or what in the world was going on. I just didn't know. I reached out to Silver, uh, my other best friend at the time when this happened, and current girlfriend. She doesn't even know. To this date, she still doesn't know, and she kept in touch with him longer than I did. I don't know what happened. No one does, but it, it, I feel like I keep getting this sensation that it's probably broken promises or just, like, a feeling getting crushed. But that's kind of the major... That, that example was thrown in there... Because it gives off the major reason why the golden rule is so detrimental in relationships of any kind. He may... Because the way I've always th seen it is... He speculated, speculated, I should say. The way I've always speculated it is that he may have in his mind made some kind of bond with me that I just didn't notice. It's nothing new for anybody, for someone to say that. It, but... To date, I mean, what are you supposed to do? But preventing that is kind of key to a good relationship in my mind. Golden rule. I mean, don't do to others what you don't want do them doing to you. And I mean, that's just something that no one pays heed to. And I mean, that's really my major thought on all this. I've gone on a loop with some examples in there on it, but... I am going to leave this video here. If you guys have anything you think should have been added to this, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with really anything I said, well, first of all, in my mind, my mind would go shame on you for that because do you really want somebody hating on you because you did something to them that they wouldn't, that you wouldn't want them doing to you? Would you really do that? I mean, if you would, fine, to each their own, but 
good luck out in real life, if that's the case. But anyway, yeah, if you have any of your own opinions you want to let me, you that you have, let me know in the comments below. If you did like what I had to say in this video, um, click the like button down over there. Or wherever it might be. If you're watching it on your phone, it's probably like right here. Somewhere right here. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that being said, I am going to head out. Um, planning on doing more gaming stuff in the near future now. Expect more discussion and rants videos in the future at some point. I'm going to try to do more if I can, but we'll see. But for right now, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.